So my name's Trevor. Uh, if you didn't know me, so talking about injuries, uh, I've been very injury prone in my life, uh, as it so happens. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so the one injury that I will talk about is uh, back when I was in sixth grade, I ended up dislocating a hip. Um, I was playing football, and we were practicing on a baseball field. And as I was running along, I ran in between with one foot on the infield and with one other foot in the grass. And my left foot accidentally stepped in a hole. Uh, my foot happened to stay there. The rest of my body kept going. And <laughs> long story short, my left hip then became dislocated. Um, part of the uh, ball, part of the socket uh, that went into my hip joint, uh, part of the bone got chipped off. Ended up having to have surgery just to smooth it out. Uh, but I'm fine now. So able to do what I love to do and play sports. Um, going on with uh, just some of the questions that we have to answer now. Uh, if you're only given one bone, you just look at the pointers. Um, and that will help determine which side the bone is on. Um, the type of joint that's at the proximal end of the bone that I'm talking about, which is your pelvis, is, uh, is the hip joint and its actions are to swivel and to house the head of the ball and socket. Um, the joint that's at the distal end of the bone is the actual hip bone itself and then just the pelvis. And the actions of it are to house the hip socket as well as give it stability. Yeah, that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe.